Hey golf people, it's been an incredible year. It's been so fun doing all of these reviews and I thought it'd be a great idea to recap the best shots of the year and the golf clubs I use to hit them. So very early on in this year, travel finally opened back up and I was able to take a trip to Puerto Rico. I played a golf course, which is a PGA Tour venue, Coco Beach in Puerto Rico. The Atlantic Ocean winds were no joke that day. The wind was whipping at about 40 miles per hour. It was a very tough day to play. I overshot the green on this hole and I had this chip off a sandy beach coming back. Here's what happens. The club I'm using is my 58 degree wedge. This is my Titleist Vokey SM8. It's my trusty go-to when I'm about 60 yards and in around a hole. He did pick it clean. Oh, what a shot. He's tight. He stuck it to two feet. You just stuck that to two feet from a beach. Our next shot takes us to Kiowa Island and the Ocean Course, which was the site of the PGA Championship in 2021, which Phil Mickelson won. Now, if you've ever done any kind of travel for golf, you know that playing your bucket list courses or your dream courses usually puts a little nerves into you. And I am no different, to be quite honest with you. This was a course that I've been wanting to play for a very long time. It was number one on my bucket list at the time and I was super stoked to play the same course where the PGA Tour players had just had this championship. And to me, that's the really cool thing about golf that you'll never find in any other sport. It's not like I could go play a baseball game in Yankee Stadium or some pickup soccer in Wembley. That's not gonna happen. But with golf, you have the chance to play where the pros play in the biggest stages on the planet, and that's super cool. Well, this was my chance to play the ocean course, and let me just tell you, Again, the conditions were less than optimal, and I think that's probably always the case in Key Island, but the wind was blowing again 30, 40 miles an hour. The caddy told me that the distance was 211, playing 230, and so I had no other choice but to pull out a three wood, which is about my 235, 240 club. That three wood is the Ping G425, and I love this club, especially hitting it off a tee, and here's what we did with it. So that was a really awesome memory, one of the very few highlights in a very difficult round. But that's golf and it's that one shot that keeps you coming back to play. This next shot was an interesting one. I was testing out the Arco Smart Caddy system and I was playing an early morning round and the maintenance crew was on the seventh hole of my home course in Carrollwood. They said, come on and hit. I'm there playing as a single. I'm trying to film my round. I'm already a little nervous because I'm trying to hit a good shot here. Now I've got to actually go over these six big burly guys and not shank one or top one and look like a complete buffoon. I was playing the set that I was playing earlier this year, my Mizuno MP20 HMBs, and I reached for the six iron. Having to go right over their heads, here's what happened. Now all the workers are up there, but they're waving me to play, so hopefully they don't kill them. You good? Good? Gosh, I hope I don't kill. I think it's over their head. Woo! <laughs> I got a round of applause from the maintenance men. You guys are braver than me. I guess you've been out here a few times before. Uh, just a couple. <laughs> nice shot. Hey, thanks guys. All right, that's what it feels like to be on the PGA Tour. Now, unfortunately I missed the putt, but it was a really cool experience. It's not something I necessarily want to replicate again, but it's one for the highlight reel. Now, earlier in the summer, I was testing out the Kirkland wedge set from Costco that I had picked up in my big Costco haul. You might have seen that video. I was testing the wedge set up against some existing wedges that I had, including my Cleveland regular 588, just a classic wedge from back in the day. I was hitting 100 yard shots and this happened. That's another good one there. 
Oh, that went in. That went in. So there you have it, almost a slam dunk, one hop and in. Just goes to show you, even though it's nice to have the top of the line gear, you don't always have to have the most modern stuff to make golf awesome. So speaking of those Costco wedges, I took the Kirkland Signatures along with the Callaway Edge set from Costco and put together the ultimate Costco set. I started off kind of slow in this round, but on the third hole, I was trying to chip on and I pulled out my 60 degree wedge and this happened. All right, here we are walking up on the ball. You can see I didn't want to be right in that bunker. <laughs> I'm just off the green here in the fringe and uh, we're gonna go 60 degree here, hopefully land it nice and soft. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, these things are legit and I don't care what anyone says, the Kirkland Signature Wedges are as good as anything on the market. Now a little later I'm going to show you another shot from that round which really made it probably the most memorable round for me all year. But in the meantime, let's go to this one. Now I checked out a boutique brand called Argolf, a French company that's now making clubs also in the United States. And their ARF35 line in particular struck my eye and I took them out on course. Now the round did not start off so well. In fact, on the seventh hole, I found myself three over. But that was about to change as I went birdie birdie with a pair of incredible shots. First up on hole number seven, I was just off the fairway. I pulled out a nine iron. I had about 135 yards and here's the shot I hit. Oh, it's nice and high. This will be the club. Oh man, that's tight. That's birdie time. Guys, how about that one? How about that one? That's a kick in right there. All right, we're back. Then we step up to the eighth hole. The wind in my face a little bit, 141. I pull out the eight iron and this shot. Ooh, solid strike, very high again. That's very close. Ooh. Whoa, another dart in there. Look at that, look where it's stuck, right in that spot. Very good opportunity coming back. Ooh, if we go birdie birdie here, we might have a chance. Yes! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so that was really cool. The only time all year I went back to back birdies. And in fact, on the ninth hole, I hit the hole with my putt. It would have been the turkey. I would have had three birdies in a row. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. The pin stopped that ball from going in the hole but it was still a lot of fun with the Argolf F35. Now my last round of the year was the club championship at my home course, Carrollwood Country Club. I knew I was in contention. I didn't know exactly where I was at, but the nerves kicked in on the 36th hole of the tournament. I hit a pretty decent drive, but it didn't go too far, which left me with about 180 yards to the hole. I pushed a five iron into the water. My ball was in some standing water, only about 30% of my ball showing. I've never hit a shot like this out of the water in my life, but I knew if I had a chance of winning or even placing in this tournament, I probably would have to hit this shot without taking a drop. I pulled out again the Vokey SM8, this time the 54 degree wedge, and I just basically closed my eyes and this is what happened. Ooh. Oh, great shot, Gabe. And there you go. There's what the club looked like after that shot. It was incredible. I ended up finishing second in the club championship. The guy I was playing with was the first place finisher. It was a great experience. I had no double bogeys that round, and that was a pretty cool shot to end my 2021. But that's not the last shot that I'm gonna show you because there's one more that I think was a better shot. Now I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor, Play Better, the sponsor of the show all year long. I highly recommend that you check out playbetter.com. They've got free 48 hour shipping across the continental United States, a hassle-free return policy, and the best customer service and prices in the industry, playbetter.com. Now the last shot of the year was again that ultimate Costco set. I was standing on the ninth hole. I knew exactly where I was and what I had to do. 
I had 115 yards, I pulled down a pitching wedge, and I had to get aggressive if I was going to have my first even par round of the year. Here's the shot, and here's the putt. Enjoy. We're going right at it. Guys, we did it. Even par, best round of the year. Unbelievable. Of course, it was the Costco Callaway Edge 9-iron. And the putter, of course, was the Kirkland Signature KS1. Pretty special that I did it with a super budget-friendly set of clubs. It was my best round of the year, and those were my best highlights of the year. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, there's a couple other videos you should check out, including this one, where I looked at all the best launch monitors of the year under $600, as well as this one where I took a look at my favorite budget golf gear of the year. Hope you enjoyed watching Let's Play Through this year. I certainly enjoyed making the videos for you and reading all of your comments. I'll catch you back here in 2022. Happy New Year from Let's Play Through.